Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 13 of my Portsmouth FIFA 14 career modes. Today, we have a squad report, another update from Norway, and a press conference for the upcoming games. So, uh, leave your comments if you enjoy three games per episode. It's definitely a lot for me, at least for commentating live, because you know I edit it, and it's like 40 or 50 minutes commentating live, so that's pretty big. So here we've got an update on a couple of our youth players in our youth squad, Andrew Hall, who I'm not sure what position he is right now. Even uh, my whoever judged it, whoever judged these players doesn't know. You see his type is unknown, so he could be like a defender, midfielder, a attacking player as well, like out wide on the left. He has potential up to 80. Uh, to me, like his minimum potential is 66. So if you compare that to our current player, current players in our team, that's good. Like, good for this level, so at least we'll sell him, at least. But the next guy is someone uh, who could potentially be a bit better as a keeper. Craig Rigg, we need... Yeah, we need a potential keeper, no doubt. We just got two keepers, I believe. Or other ones that aren't good enough. Well, we have two, I know. Uh, main keepers, about the same overall. One guy is going back on loan next season. And another one, Sullivan, who's our current keeper, who I'm going to keep using. So that's the update on that. Hoping to get through some other ones as... Whenever they come back, I'm not sure when. Anyway, another update from Norway to see... We've got Agnaldo, uh, Alejandro Castro, who's from, where is he from? Is that like Paraguay or something? No idea. <laughs> anyway, he has that special something. I'm not sure what country that is. Sorry, I have not. I simply have no idea. Uh, but anyway, uh, he's got sprint speed, acceleration, stamina, shot power, agility, and ball control. Hmm. I'm going to ask him to scout him and add him to the shortlist. He could be definitely good. I want to get more of him, and yeah, I'm definitely scouting like heaps of heaps of players here. For fun, I believe I'm putting scout report on him already. Yep. Uh, Red Mo or Moe, no idea, but he's centre back with sprint speed and acceleration and strength as well. So I'm going to add him to the short list, and hopefully we can scout all these players at a later date. Uh, Jensen, yep, I remember him. Uh, is that called Tripic, the guy from? Bosnia and Herzegovina, or how you say that second part of the country. Add him to the shortlist. Got heaps of guys to scout here. So, but that's it uh, from Norway. I knew they'll bring us some quality players. So next up, we've got the press conference for today's match against Dagenham and Redbridge. I'm just going to praise my current team. We're doing yeah, we're doing excellently. So I think that's the deserved uh, thing to go with. So next up, yep, to, we've got. I just want to see where they are. I think they're not like one of the. Worser, the worst is not one of the yeah one of the worst teams in the league. Dagenham, where are they? Yeah, fifteenth. Not a, they've only got two wins. Uh, they picked up a few draws along the way. So I just want to see what next match is on the cards for us calendar, so you can see what's the next match going to be. Okay, I'm going to do three again, so you can see two league matches, and then we're going to have uh, what's this? Is that Capital One Cup? No, I don't want to advance. Oh, that's Johnson's Pain Trophy. So then, we're, oh, we've got Tottenham. Tottenham is in round of 16. We've made it to the round of 16 in Capital One Cup. Fantastic stuff, that is. A match against Tottenham. Obviously, we're probably going to lose that for sure, but like, we've done well to go this far, no doubt. So I'm happy with my performance in that way. Uh, yeah, let's continue on this match against Dagenham. Look, when I think about doing it live, like three matches is a lot, but I just play through it, and in the end, it works well. Okay, we do need... Our players need a rest. It definitely. But I think there's a decent break between games. So I'm just going to leave it for now. Then, and then make changes. Like I see who's mostly run out of the 60 minute or so. And then, yeah, I make the changes. See, playing world class. Of course. That's the, yeah, the best level. Legendary is probably too hard and unrealistic for me. And yeah, I don't... I really don't like a legendary. <laughs> It'll just be like, I'll complain too much and stuff. And yeah, world class is the best to do for me. And yeah, we're being where we're expected to. So I believe what we're doing currently is good. So Aaron Martin, or Aaron McLean, sorry, has got six league goals, uh, doing very well in the league. It would be amazing if he could win the leading goal scorer. I think he can on his current form. Oh, nice Marquise. He's got great strength. I do want to sign a similar striker when he goes back on loan. Barchin put it in. Here comes a goal. Here comes a goal. Fantastic piece of play. Marquise... At the start of the season, I don't know, I wasn't too confident about him for whatever reason, but he's really showcased now, got in great attacking positioning so I can apply uh, the finishing cross to him and he just, yeah, he applies the finish. You see, they're easy 
as the goalkeeper was coming across, it was so easy. Going to be a goal. Just had to go near post there. And it was always going to go in. As I said, the keeper was coming across. Ferry. Ferry. Oh, does well. Gets in. Should cross this now. Ooh. Ertl. Strike it. Yeah, he's not a great shot of the ball, but... <laughs> you have to temp it from there. And Agumang is good off the bench. He just comes on. Of course, he doesn't have an amazing pace, but he's got great strength. He's a good impact player to come on because McLean and Marquise, Marquise is doing the job right now, so I shouldn't really... Yeah, there's no reason to change that, pretty much. And they're making a change as well. I like to do three at once because then I don't have to go in it like three times. It takes too long. <laughs> Holmes. Oh, he has time. He has time. I don't think he would have ever had more space. Oh... Again, defense has been just simply brilliant for the most part. As they come in now. Oh, they could score. Oh, no. They could score. Oh, this does not feel right. I feel we've, like, dominated this match, and... Wow. It feels weird. It, like, it feels like a match with, with 1-2-0 or 3-0, and right now it's... It's a draw it, that we do not deserve a draw in this match at all. Have to go attacking here. Here we go. Oh, nice play. Obeying. We're going to have to come up with something special late. Something special late. We do need to. It's really disappointing. This was for sure like a three point. We dominated the whole match, but that just shows you need sometimes. Oh, good play there, Holmes. Yeah, or two homes at least. Now put the dangerous ball in. Dangerous ball. Try something acrobatic. <laughs> Agumang was probably the wrong guy to go to. Oh, that was going in by Rakon. Look at that strike. That was going in. That could have been the winner. Was going right top post. Holmes put a dangerous ball in. 90 minutes. 90 minutes. Header. Oh, that was going to be on as well. Oh, but here Wallace. The future prospect. Yes! Jed Wallace, 90th minutes. Whew, that's what the best teams do. They win, and the best players as well. Whew, that is a relief. What a strike as well. Perfect hit by Jed. Great strike that was. Plenty of power. He set it up for himself. Got the space and finished it. We are somehow finding these goals. I, I could never do this with Barcelona find the goals when I needed to, to get the win instead of a draw. Fantastic. Whew. At the end of the day, we pick up the three points, which was almost stolen away uh, from us by Dennis in the 84th minute strike by them, but Wallace. These players, they come up <laughs> they come up when you need them, definitely. Great win, nine, that's what I mean, nine shots on target. We. Yeah, we deserved, definitely deserved more goals than just the one we had before the 90th minutes strike by Jed Wallace. Fantastic effort. So to put us, to make sure we're staying in the top three, I'm going to stay there. That's what I said we're going to finish, the automatic promotion. So next match against Torquay. Just got to see our update from England. Got heaps and heaps of options. Um, I have no idea how to say this guy's first name. But yeah, he's this guy, O'Kane. Center midfielder. Hmm. I'm not sure about him. Staff is busy right now, so I'm going to leave him. I'm not sure. Ender Stevens. On loan from Aston Villa at Notts County. I'll add him to my shortlist because he's a Premier League player. But that's it for now. Got a U squad. Yep. Uh, I think, yeah, we already checked that. But yeah, it was just U squad updates. I just want to see my scouting team. When's this guy coming back? On the 12th. Okay. Like the 12th of every month. They're going to know. Where, where are we now? What's the dates? Season, calendar. Where are we on? Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll get the update in this series. Oh, no. It's going to be next, the next episode, I should say. Or maybe after the end of the cup. Depends how much I simulate through. And, yeah, that's it. I was just going to check a few things, but... Let's go into the next match against Torquay away. It's going to be tough. We just have to continue performing well. I definitely like our performances. We're doing excellent. 
So, let's see. Our squad might need to make changes. Oh, actually. Now, the team looks okay. We recovered decently from the last match. But I'm going to bring on Rakon for Erto and Wallace. He does not deserve to get dropped after that match. He won the game for us at the end. At the end of the day, well, that's what he did. He won us the three points. Could be crucial come the end of the season. And getting that automatic promotion, which we... Well, which I really need to keep my job. Benyon could be through. Oh, great tackling. Oh, but they're through. Oh, great. Again, Bradley covering well. It's just... I'm basically saying it every single match now, but... He deserves the praise, really. He's just lifting. Oh, Jed Wallace. Now play it through for Marquise. Now, oh, Marquise. It was good to stay down, maybe. Find the space and play it to Barcham, who hasn't scored yet this season, unfortunately. But he's been a danger down the wings, uh, creating havoc and all of that. <laughs> but it was definitely a good setup, exactly what I wanted. But Ferry. Ugh. Oh, intercept here. Wallace. Not sure why I did that. That's why! Aaron McLean on the 45th minutes. Seven league goals now. <laughs> that was a fantastic strike by the man. But yeah, at the end of the day, that was a great setup by Wallace. Who <laughs> struck it well on the volley. So going into the latter stages of the game here, we should look to hold on to the result, of course. Here, need the goal here with come up. Can't risk that. And here, win the header. Perfect, Marquise. Now, Barcham, go. Yep, just win throw in. That's acceptable. Now, Marquise looked at, over the head. Yep, that's what I wanted to do. Go, Marquise. Marquise. Ooh. We get it back here. Please be over. Oh, good interception. Over the top now. Marquise, now go over the top as well. Now, oh, oh, oh! I really wanted another goal because we're just going to win one nil. Surely it's over. Yeah, see, when I win it, it's uh, see, isn't that weird? But I don't care. We won. But that should have been a goal for McLean. Should have just finessed that in and didn't. Uh, we had more shots, so we did deserve to win that match. They only had the one on target. And again, we push up, getting good results, putting the pressure on teams above us as well. And if teams below us don't get a result, we can just keep yeah, putting the lead. But teams above us keep winning. That's the dilemma. Next match, John Stone's paint trophy round two. We've got a press conference to attend to for today's match. Uh, no doubt. Okay, players leaving on international duty. Uh, Trevor Carson, he's not involved in the team anyway, so it's not a concern. So again, Chesterfield's manager. I'm just going to keep doing this. Unnerve. That seems to work. Update from Norway. Did I check that yet? Oh, Abdul Razak Nahu. What's this guy? He's a left back. Okay, he's got some very important attributes for left back. Crossing, stamina, agility, acceleration, and jumping. All important uh, for a left back. I knew I knew the Norway league was good, but actually, yo, I'll add him to the short list because we're good this. Get my, I might pick up another scout a bit later, but... Hmm, Kastrati. Uh, he's from Norway, actually, so add him to the short list. I'll do as much as I can. Gabrielson. Hmm. He's got shot power. Another one. I want to. I have so much. I want to add to my short list uh, here. And Alejandro Castro. We've got him on the list already. Could be a potential striker. But here today we've got a way match to Chesterfield in the Johnson's Paint Trophy. I definitely want to win this competition. It's. I think it's a realistic one to win for me. I might change their kit up a bit. There we go was clashing with ours a little bit and it's rainy today you know those rainy matches can be a bit tough because the ball goes it goes more across but I've got to leave my team it's looking all these players on the ground are on form even Rakon is as well I think I'll take Ferry off and bring Rakon all these players are on form and all these other players are down so I'll leave that for now Agumang I'll definitely want to put a striker on take off Ferry We've got Martin and Padovani to come in for centre midfielders. So that's all good. And we'll move in today's match. I don't want to change it at all. Our team is playing perfectly. And we've, got, we've actually got good rotation options. And as I said, I'll do a squad report at the start of the next episode. So uh, leave a like if you want that to keep tuned. And yeah, let's press start to play against Chesterfield. I think they're in the same league. Or one league above. But regardless, we should do well. Oh, Porter. 
definitely have to be careful of these guys. Eight, but he's on the bench. Okay, that is definitely good. So finally, we are faced with a rainy match. We do have to be careful because don't forget they've made it to the next round. So they've bet other someone else. So no doubt they're on good form and we have to be wary of them. And making misplacing those passes early is not something I want to do. That's where I believe we have a chance. Go, make a run, someone. And I'll just have to play inboard there for Marquise. Need someone to make a run. Go, Wallace. Put, just put the cross in there. Put the cross in. Barcham. Oh, Penn. Penn. Yes, I saw, I saw the ref. He was running towards the spot. Because Barcham was impeded with, as you can see there. Could have been a dive, not sure. Been pretty good from the spot so far. Who's our best penalty taker? Marquise? Yep, yeah, Marquise is the man. Can he do it for us? Just finesse this. Oh, that was lucky. I think he saved it, but the shot had too much power. So that was lucky as he celebrates in front of him. Actually, I want to see the replay of that. I'm not sure how that went through. Pretty crap keeper. He was in, in the keeper. Did he actually save it, but it just went past him? That was weird. He did... That was... Whoa, he must be a crap keeper. Wow. But I'll take it nonetheless. Oh. Come on, keep. No, just go back. No. Wow. Richard scores. I, I, I wanted to... I didn't want to concede the corner. That, that was what I was trying to do there. I was just... I don't know what I was trying to do, but I didn't want to, yeah, I didn't want to concede the corner. But anyway, we concede. Not ideal, really. Come on, Obeen, get past. Like that. I put a dangerous ball in, and we win the corner. Hopefully we can take advantage of it here today. Barchin put it in. Oh, dangerous. That was crap. So, we pick up another corner. I suppose that's the positive sign here. Poor, oh, it was pretty bad. But here we get it back. Quick strike by Sonny Bradley. Makes an impact in defense. Very strong defender, but that really, that I see that as captain quality. He could be a future captain of the team. Scores when we need to, just turns around and puts it through. Play ball for Ertl. There we go. Come on, Holmes. Ertl, use your strength. Uh-oh. Pressure for them. We've got a nice wall up there. Pressure is on for them. Big pressure. But players are getting way too tired now. That might be something that comes in play at the end of the season, maybe. Oh, played it through perfectly. Agamang. Oh... <laughs> McLean for his 10th of the season in all comps. After a nice strike by Agamang. Fortunately, he didn't score, but McLean was there to apply the finish. Nice strike. Hammered against the crossbar. And a perfect header. That's unsavable. At least where the, comp the goalkeeper was in that situation. Perfect McLean. Just an ideal striker for me. Decent defending. Decent defending. In the end, we clear it. Go, Rakon. Get rid of it. Go, Agamem. Over the top for McLean. Over the top. Over the top. We've won this anyway, so it doesn't matter if they score one. Yes! There we go. More wins under my belt. Started off with a crap save, to be honest. Was hit straight at him. He did just went over his head. They just had the one on target. We had four. Again, a deserved win in my opinion. Continuing on the dominance. I fully believe. Uh, definitely Wolves. They won 3-0. Uh, they're going to be one of my toughest opponents. Like, hopefully someone can beat them. But who knows. Let's check out our tournament prize money. What did we get? 4,000? See, that's more than currently I was getting in the Capital One Cup. Obviously, early days in Capital One Cup. So that is it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like if you did. And I'll see you guys next time.